we have Magnus Carlsen, uh, sorry, Carlsen on why he is unlikely to play another title match. Magnus Carlsen says he is still not 100% certain he will give up his title, but reiterates that it's unlikely he will play another match, adding more details on the reasons. The world champion remains committed to playing on the Meltwater Champions Chess Tour and talks about his plans for the rest of the year. All right. Magnus Carlsen shocked the chess world after his convincing world championship win against Jan Nepomniachtchi in Dubai by announcing his fifth title match likely was his last. A month after the match had finished, he added that the chances hadn't increased. Interesting. Um, speaking to Norwegian newspaper VG yesterday, the world champion reveals more details about the decision. Okay. I have to admit that there have been many times after the match that I had regrets about what I said after the match. Why didn't I just make it simpler and say that I am done? Okay. Asked whether he had come closer to a decision on the 2023 World Championship match, he says, I haven't come closer to playing another match than I was before, but there also have been times when I am not 100% certain. I will make that decision later. But if there is anyone who expects and still hopes that I will say yes to playing, I will have to prepare them to be disappointed. Okay, let's keep going. It's not the first time Carlson has expressed a lack of interest in playing world championship matches. After his win against Fabiano Caruana in 2018, the Norwegian superstar told NRK that it's tough both physically and mentally and that it's supposed to be fun to play chess. Of course it's supposed to be fun to play chess. In the interview with VG, the 31-year-old also points out that he thought everything was simpler and better between 2010 and 2013 as he felt more comfortable with the situation where he knew he was the best player. Interesting. Very interesting. Very interesting that he says that. Um, okay. At some point, I made a decision that I was motivated to play for the World Championship title, and that worked. But I felt in many ways that too much of my identity was linked to the World Championship title, and I never enjoyed that. Hmm. Many of Carlson's rivals have expressed disbelief and do not believe Carlson will give up his title freely. One of them is Vladimir Kramnik, who told Chess24 he thinks Carlson will play in the end. The 14th world champion said, There is no conclusion to draw. Let's wait and see. Of course, he has the full right to step away from the title and not to play matches, like every person. Of course, he can stop Chess if he wants. It will be a pity for everyone, of course, but he has the full right. It's just what he said. You're tired after the match. You are also relieved, so you just say something. I don't think we have to draw some conclusion or discuss. Let's see what he will do. My guess is that he will play the next match against any opponent. Okay. Carlson says he informed his team that his match against Napomniachi likely would be his last in advance, regardless of the result. Most important was not to win, but not to lose, so he could remain undefeated in matches. Interesting. I wanted to quit while on top, and it's clearly what's most likely to happen. But who knows? I have changed opinions before. But when I have the same feeling for too long, it rarely changes back. So no, I am not closer to playing a title match than I was after the World Championship. Okay. Carlson has had a perfect start to 2022, winning his only classical event in Vicence and his first two events on the Meltwater Champions Chess Tour, the Air Things Masters, and the Charity Chess Cup. Besides extending his contract with gambling site Unibet, Carlson has busy, been busy traveling lately, first in Barcelona, where he played football, um, and then beating David Howell in a duel. Okay kind of weird but okay and showing off some impressive poker skills all right all right all right um okay let's keep going with the article while norway chess is his next classical event it's not clear what will be the world number one's next stop after that for now it seems likely that he intends to take part in at least one of the classical events on the grand chess tour he tells vg that the long break between vikonse and St stavanger is a bit coincidental and assures his fans that he still loves playing chess and has no intention of retiring all right Carlson notes that he is committed to playing on the Meltwater Champions Chess Tour with the Oslo Esports Cup next up. Carlson will take on seven stars at home in Norway's capital, an event that will be broadcast live on many channels. Okay, so all right, so it's a, it's a pretty light, it's a pretty light, um, pretty light article. Not a whole lot is said here. Um, I'm gonna say something though. Having having played Magus many many times, I still I still don't buy it, and the reason I don't buy it, um, is is pretty straightforward. The reason that I don't buy it is because at the end of the day, when Ma Magnus is essentially saying that he felt in between 2010 and 2013, he was a clear favorite, I guess is what he's saying, whereas he doesn't feel that that's necessarily the case now. Again, I don't really believe that because I think if you look at Magnus's results, he's won, he's won most of the events he's playing in. He dominated in Vikonze. I mean, he had a phenomenal result there. 
So again, I kind of, I kind of don't really believe what he's saying. Um, and also, he says that uh, he said, what, "What did he say?" He says to me that it's most important not to lose. Um, I can't think of any time where Magnus has lost a game or a match or anything, and he hasn't come back stronger. So it's kind of weird. It's weird to view it this way. Also, because if let's just say hypothetically, Magnus were to quit chess tomorrow. If Magnus were to quit chess tomorrow, I think he's the best player ever. I, I, I would say by, in my opinion, by a big margin. But there, there is some room for people to say that, okay, he was number one for what, like 13, 14 years. But Gary Kasparov was the number one player for, for two decades. So there is some, you know, there is some potential of people like trying to make the argument that Gary, Gary is a better player. Obviously, I don't believe it. I don't think most people do. But I feel like Magnus is someone who he's, it feels like in a way he's looking at his legacy and if he wins another one or two matches, it's it's not even close, not even close at all. Um, so that's my read of it. Is again, I think he's saying this, and I feel like it's sort of he's playing he's playing some uh, he's playing some mind games with people. But I, I still think he's going to play at the end of the day. I just I don't buy it. So that's just a little bit that that, that I wanted to cover. Um, all right. So yeah, so we'll cover this. Actually, I think while we're on this break, we'll do some chessel. Let me uh, do chessel and let me minimize chat. I think we I think we have a little bit of time to do it. So let me uh, minimize chat. Okay, there we go. Let me change the scene. Okay, so let's start. Okay, let's let's do our usual classic openings. Okay. Okay, so e4 is the right first move. E5 is not the right first move for black. I'm just gonna do chessel right now. I'll do the others later. Um not e5 knight f3 and d4 wait but you played d4 but not on move three so it's not e5 there's no bishop b4 which means it's not a french but there is knight f6 ah uh, maybe it's knight f6 maybe it's an ali Ekin's defense wait but there's no e5 so wait no it can't be no wait it can't be and knight f3 is moved to so it's not knight f6 it's not e5 it's not a center counter D6 knight here looks weird. So I don't think it's a D pawn. I don't think it's an E pawn. Other than it's not an E pawn. It's some kind of Karo Khan or Sicilian. See, so it's C5 knight of three. Oh, it could be a knight or wait, but there's no knight takes D4. Wait, there's no knight takes D4. Important. So there's no knight takes D4. So what does that mean? There's no knight C3 either. So wait, knight of three. Could be, there's no e takes d4, knight f3, okay. There's no knight c3, so I think it's a Sicilian. I just don't know which Sicilian it is. I think it's knight f3. Maybe it's not an open Sicilian though. Maybe it's knight f3. There's no knight c6. Could be like a Nimzovich, maybe like. But there's again, there's no e5 and there's no knight c3, so it can't be a Nimzovich. Maybe it's like maybe it's this. Let's go with this. Okay, close. Okay, close. Much better. Okay, so it's e4, c5. The important thing is knight f6 is the um. Knight f6 is the fifth move. This is actually very important. So this means that a6 is the third move. Wait. Wait, this means a6 is the... Wait, no, a6 is the second or third move. Wait. But there's no cd4. What the heck? Wait, what? There's no c takes d4? Huh? What's the sign does black not take on d4 in? Wait, what? Like, it could be, it could be this, d4, knight f6. I mean, maybe it... Oh, wait, no, knight f6 is the fifth move. What the heck? There's no cd4. Maybe it's a Rosalimo? Oh, maybe it's this... No, but a6 has to be the third move because knight f6, or is it the second? a6 on move two? Maybe something like this? I mean, it could be something like this. I mean, this doesn't look right, though. 
This doesn't look right. Um, A6 has to be the second or third move. But if A6 is the third move, what's the ceiling can it be? I mean, because knight c3 can't be played here. So it can't be d6. I mean, it could be like g6 maybe. No, but you're not. It's not g6. So it's not d6. It's not g6. It's not e6. It's not knight c6. So that's th those are like the three main moves. It's not g6. I think it has to be a6 on move two. And I think it says it's not d4. I think this is what it is. I think it's something like this. I mean, it's something like this. I might have the order wrong, but it's just my guess. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, very nice, very nice, okay, there we go, very nice.